We're back with our third ever What's New video. We got product updates as usual. We're gonna talk about a student's initiative where we're actually giving away equity in the browser company. And we're gonna end with a really hard question from all of you about competitors, and we're gonna take it on the nose. So let's get right into it. On the nose, is that right? First up, Fix It Friday, they're permanent now. We're gonna do it every single week. And this week, Just Dave went into our subreddit, found someone talking about folder previews and selecting the first item by default, knocked it off, it's in there. Keep posting the subreddit, we're listening. Beck and Sherry, they were tackling this full screen bug where you couldn't exit a video without Arc freezing up on you. We think they got to the end of it, but please let us know if you see it again. Next up, there was this problem with extensions where you would pin one and then it would get unpinned for some reason. Software can be weird, but Max made it on weird. It's fixed now. Finally, we've been having a lot of fun with these videos, but we know it can be jarring sometimes if you click the what's new button and then get a video auto playing the sound. Omar has your back. There's now gonna be a little video icon whenever it redirects to YouTube. Next up, this is a big one. I just moved to Paris. I was at a party. Someone asked me, what does your web browser do? Deer in headlights, didn't know what to answer, and I'm the CEO of this company. If I can't answer that question crisply and simply, how is someone supposed to try ARC and within the first 30 seconds or 90 seconds understand what the heck it is? But we've shipped an updated onboarding experience, a brand new first session experience with this beautiful getting started page. Hit command T, type getting started to try it for yourself. But really, do us a favor, refer ARC to a friend. This is a great excuse for them to see it, you to see it. Win, win, win. Really proud of this work. Shout out to Dara and the entire crew of ARC 101. Next up, sad, summer's over. Happy, Nash is gonna talk to you about this awesome back to school initiative that we've been working on and excited to unveil today. Thank you, Josh, and hello, good people. So today marks the first day of The Great Experiment, a challenge that we are running for our student community as part of ARC for Students 2023. You see, we believe that ARC is the best browser for students, but we also believe that students make ARC the best browser in return. So we're running a challenge to try and get the word out far and wide, and we would love your help. Over the next eight weeks, students who refer their friends, classmates, roommates to ARC will have a chance to win three prizes that you all selected, ranging from limited edition merch to access to early features, all the way to equity in the browser company. Last year, we grew from 500 students to over 60,000 around the world. And I think that we can get to 100,000 together over the next eight weeks. So for more details on how to participate, hit the link in the bio below. It should be a good one. It starts today. Happy September, happy back to school. And over to you, Josh. And finally, going to take a hard question from the community. A lot of you have been asking, honestly, weekly now, X company ripped you off. What do you think? So it's true. We've got large companies copying our scrim design. We have tiny startups kind of ripping off the product wholesale. We have medium startups copying the onboarding pixel for pixel. I'm not going to lie. I'm supposed to say it's flattering. It really pisses me off. It just irks me. It does. I'm sorry. I know I need to grow up, but it does. So that's the first thing. The second thing is everyone copies everybody. There's no such thing as originality in this industry. Truly, our, our browser is based on Chromium, which is made by Chrome. We couldn't exist without our biggest competitor. So anyone that is so sure that they invented something that someone else is copying is being a little disingenuous. We're all swapping with each other. But the true answer, the third and the final thing is, if our plan to succeed in one of the most lucrative, largest competitive markets in our industry was a border around our window or an onboarding flow, we were screwed from the beginning. So is it piss me off? Totally. Is it a little scary? Sure. But the truth is we've been assuming this was going to happen all along. We've got a plan. We've got a lot of surprises coming this fall and beyond. And honestly, the fact that we have people like you that want to watch this video makes me think if we keep our heads down and keep having fun with it, we'll be successful. So keep asking the hard questions. We will keep answering them as long as we're doing these videos. Having a blast with this and we'll see you soon.